Welcome friends of the Greasy Shop Rag. Today we're going to take a look at the Husqvarna 525 PT5S pole saw. This customer complaint is that the bar stud is stripped. And what happened here is that the bar stud backed out a little bit in the housing, uh, not leaving enough stud exposed to spin the bar nut on more than one thread I suppose and it's stripped. So we'll take a look at that and how to prevent that from happening to you. How to fix it. Uh, the one thing you're gonna have to do though on this video is just kind of bear with me a little bit because it would seem that my mind might have been somewhere else and for a good portion of this video I've got my head up my ass. So uh, you know, got that going for me. But the first thing we do here is we drain the oil out because the tank's going to have to come off to do this repair. You can see the bar stud in this picture. It's just a single stud. And uh, we'll get this pole saw leveled out here a little bit just for uh, the camera shot. Now, you know, these things get dirty and greasy and oily. And I like to keep things kind of clean. And uh, customers expect to get their equipment back clean too. And why shouldn't they? I mean, you're paying good money for the repair and the labor time. Uh, it should it should look professional when you get it back. So uh, here's step one: remove head from ass. I was uh, trying to remove a screw with an air nozzle. That didn't work. I don't know what I was thinking about when I was doing this video. But I was not in the game. Now, I know that other screw is right there under my thumb, but... Yeah, I, whatever. I missed it. So this tank will just drop off. And don't worry about uh, losing any pieces or anything like that. You can see that there's just a tube right there that fits into the oil tank. So again, we'll clean the grunge out of here. Cover up that oil feed hole so we don't get any contamination in there. So there I'm looking at the bar stud wondering... How did that back out a quarter inch like that? And I think it probably had a burr on the threads of the stud and when he tried to tighten the nut at one point it turned the stud out of the housing a little bit and from there you know it can just keep getting looser and looser. So when we put this back together we're going to use a little bit of blue Loctite on it. But I don't want to just back the bolt right out and take out the threads that are in the the housing there. So I take my die grinder and knock the remnants of the old Yeah, wrong bit. Remnants of the old uh, nut off of that threads. And then we'll spin that bolt out of there. Where's that big one? Now I'm looking for the five millimeter bit for the bit driver and I can't seem to find it. I, I find this one bit here that I think might be it but what a bonehead move. That was the bit. <laughs> I was there you go flip it over now it fits. Well, what the hell? Dumbass. Yeah there it is. Yeah look at that. So we'll run that stud out of there. Need a little bit more oomph on that thing. Here we go. So I think I'm chasing the Loctite right now. Here we go. And there's our new stud. We're just going to put a little bit down on the bottom of the bolt there so it locks into that aluminum housing better. 
Got a little extra Loctite there on my thumb just in case. So we'll run it down tight with the bit driver and then we'll just give it a little extra ugga dugga on there and it should be good to go. Threads look good. Or we get some of this grunge off this oil tank. I just didn't want to get any dirt inside the tank, so I cleaned that up a little bit. There we go. Pretty much reverse order to put it back together. Let's see if I can do it without uh, grabbing the wrong tool or making another bonehead mistake. And I'm betting that I can't. No, see, still got the 5mm on there. I think these are 4mm screws, but I'm using a T25 Torx bit. So the proper spec is snug plus quarter. Um, your mileage may vary. You know, I never even thought about this uh, nut when I did the repair and I did the billing on it. It looks like a brand new nut. And I know it can't be the old nut because it would be hogged out. The threads would be gone. I'm assuming that the customer supplied it. Um, if we supplied it, I guess I forgot to bill them for it. I think we'll be alright though. You know, I don't know if anyone else considers this uh, standard procedure to clean things up decent or if just slapping it back together is appropriate, but um, again, I think you're paying for professional work, you might as well clean it up for the customer. Well, at least if you screw something up, you can uh, say, hey, at least it was clean. More grunge. Make it go away. Don't blow that little rubber piece out of there. Cripes, we're getting toward the end of this video already. Tension's pretty decent on there. So I guess that's all I got for you on the uh, Husqvarna 525PT5S pole saw bar stud. Are you kidding me? 10 seconds left in this video and the battery goes dead on my recording device. Uh, that was bullshit. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Later.